Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on! I <laughs> got what did I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, this yeah. beer gas in your tank! Get Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Ignora quell'idiota! Arrenditi! Ah, potrai combattere ancora! And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. He probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Somebody up there, smile down on me. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. Right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture. Real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss is Vincenzo. To you. It's Finney. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said... You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. to Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's c, c car You got it. Have a good day, f -f fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad.
Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a... Pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us. But it's good you're worried. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the door or what, Tom? Where's the money? Peron, fetcha! Loici succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminding too. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. I saw the look in his eyes. Like he lost He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. Just gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. No, no thank you. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Right before the cop show, Tom.
Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Stop until I... Damn. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. 
Oh, catch the bastard! <laughs> He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. <laughs>